Erica Sunshine Lee, good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are y'all? We're doing well. Good to have you in the studio. Thank you. Originally from Georgia, you've been in Nashville for how long? About four and a half years. The new album is called The South Will Rise Again. The single will play in just a few minutes. Georgia for this. We were talking to her about her fuzzy vest a minute ago. <laughs> we had somebody here in the uh, barn bash over the weekend from American Young. Christy right. had a fuzzy vest on. Are, are those really in style right now? Well, for me, they have been for about 10 years, <laughs> but I just I don't really follow the trends. I just like what I like, and I you like set the trends. soft, furry, fuzzy things, except for living animals. Oh, yeah. I'd rather wear them than take care of them. You know, it's always better to be a leader than a follower, because <laughs> if you're a follower, the view never changes. How do you like that? <laughs> yeah, that's good that you like... Uh, Things like that, because I got a whole yard full of dead squirrels if you want me to make you a vest. <laughs> That's it, man. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, talk about the album. Where'd you record that? In Nashville? I did it. Um, Franklin, actually, out at Kent Wales Productions. And hey. um, I got a couple songs I recorded at Jimmy Doolin Studio in Nashville. So This is your, what, fourth album? Fifth. Fifth album? Uh -huh. Did I see where you'd been overseas, what, New Zealand, Australia? You've been touring all over the world, haven't you? I do that quite a bit. I've been nonstop for the past six years, and I just got back from a six-week tour in Australia playing at the Tamworth Country Music Festival and uh, Shed Rock Festival, so I was all over the place. What are the country fans like overseas as compared to, say, Nashville or in the South? Well, um, I mean, it's kind of the same here. You know, you get some areas where they're not as keen on country, and then you get some areas that are just full-fledged, you know, addicts. So these people yeah. down there that were at the Country Music Festival are obviously country music fans. I mean, the town goes from, like, 10,000 to 80,000 people that week, kind of like our CMA Fest. Yeah. But, um, I mean, they just love it. They love... I think they like hearing it from me because I'm actually from the South singing Southern songs that are real down-home country, and they don't get that over there. A lot of that, um, some of the country singers I met over there sound more folk Americana, Okay. and especially when they start talking like this, mate, and you're like, oh my God, like, <laughs> you're a country singer, but you, you sound like you're almost... Pull me British. Right? A different country. Yeah. 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 Okay. So it's pretty cool. So talk for a moment about where you want your career to go. It seems to me you kind of follow the beat of your own drummer. What do you want to do five years from now? Where do you see Erica Sunshine Lee? I better be playing on the Grand Ole Opry. And, uh, is that the goal? That's everybody's goal. And I can see that because it's such a historic place. It is. But, um, and, you know, that's one show. And then after that, you know, I hear people just want to play it again. And I heard one time John Mayer said, you know, after you sell out Madison Square Garden, you still got to go sell out Madison Square Garden again. Yeah. So it's not just one goal. But, I mean, for me, I just love writing songs. I love people to hear my songs. I love traveling all over the world. And I'm just going to keep doing that and keep letting people all over hear my songs and touring and getting bigger shows and getting bigger fan base and getting did, people to know my songs. Did you write all the songs on the album? I did. No kidding. You write every day? All the time. Do you co-write a lot? I do. In Nashville, you kind of have to a lot, um, but it's cool to give me a different spin. I mean, I write by myself all the time, but when I was in Australia last year, I wrote over 100 songs with Australian oh my songwriters, my. so I got some songs on, out there and some new albums, so it's really interesting, you know, get a different perspective, but um, I write all, all the time. You want to do something for us live? Yeah, I'd love to. Do you What's need some? help with it? What, what are yeah. you going to do? What do you got over there? I, I can accompany you. Oh, yeah, vocals. you got to see this dude. Now, watch him. I love Viber Slap. What is it called? Viber Slap. I've never Viber heard it called that. I've never heard that one. <laughs> Isn't that what it is? I thought it was a juice harp. A jaw, uh, jaw harp? You jaw know harp? What? Oh, no. I'm thinking of the one that goes... Oh, I that, you do yes. That. I play that, too. <laughs> I bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so do you want him to help you out here? I, I need some assistance, and I might need some gang vocals. <laughs> okay. Oh, All, right. Okay. All right. As well. All right. This is a summer song, so since it's so pretty outside, it almest feels like summer. All right, here's Erica Sunshine Lee, live in the studio this morning on the farm. Called Chunky Dunk. I'll grab the grill, you grab the beer. We'll all meet up this afternoon out by the pier. Cruise over to the river, tie up an acre down, put a life jacket on old Billy, make sure he don't drown. Well, thin may be in out on the west coast, but down here we like a little something extra so we can float in our tubes, pontoons. And a whole lot of booze, we use real butter and we like to fry our food Oh, I don't know a country boy that don't like some curves A little cushion for the pushing ain't never hurt We can go out to the lake once we all get drunk If you can't skinny dip, chunky dunk <laughs> That's awesome So you're getting it, you, yeah, you have it Yeah, I got it Well, I like my big button I cannot lie, I think Sir mix a lot me would get along just fine Ain't nothing wrong with a little more to love So if you got it, flown it, even if it's more than enough 
Oh, I don't know a country boy that don't like some curves A little cushion for the pushing ain't never heard We can go out to the lake once we all get drunk If you can't skinny dip, chunky dunk Chunky dunk Shake your money maker Yeah, that's a donkey dunk If you got junk in the trunk Oh, I don't know a country boy that don't like some curves A little cushion for the pushing ain't never heard We can go out to the lake once we all get drunk If you can't skinny dip You got it now Oh, I don't know a country boy that don't like some curves A little cushion for the pushing ain't never heard We can go out to the lake once we all get drunk Chunky Dunk. Well, if you can't skinny dip, everybody. Chunky, Chunky Dunk. Woo! Oh, that's good. That's awesome. I've never heard that expression before. Did you coin that term? I can't. I can't admit that I did. That sounds like a flavor of ice cream. Chunky Dunk. Hey, give me two scoops of Chunky Dunk. I Mo think it's also what, what I had before I got called that. Oh. More with Erica Sunshine Lee next on the farm. Hang on.